She hailed from America as a student with a BA in journalism and an MA in mass communications. She was a 90s talk show queen who interviewed the likes of Diana Ross, wrote for the World Newspaper, and disrupted the status quo along the way. And her name is not Oprah, it's Felicia. Hello, Slow. But once she became known as the African Oprah, the statement became fact and then a meme. But what exactly happened to Felicia Mabuza Subtle? From a young age, being a media personality was in her blood. She was part of Emily Mutzilo's Tiny Tots Children's Choir, which was the opening act for the Manhattan Brothers and Miriam Makeba. There were two friends, I am living, oh Miriam. I sang that song as a girl, little girl, in school thinking that I'm going to be the next Miriam. <laughs> In the early 70s, Felicia started the Tswilopilo Dance Academy to keep children off the street. She was one of the first black models to be the face of Lux, starting a commercial for Honda in Barney Simon's show alongside David Beto and worked at Bobuta Tswana Radio in 1982. When Felicia launched her talk show career in 1992, South African television was relatively young, so young that it couldn't even buy its own drink legally. You see, while the first television station started in New York in 1928, South Africa nearly arrived 50 years late to the party. The first television broadcast in South Africa was in 1976. <laughs> And while the Sex Pistols were saying Nothing, a rude word. Next question. SABC concluded every night's broadcast with a prayer. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Good night. And God be with you. By the time the 90s swung by, Oprah Winfrey was sizzling in the US and South Africa was warming up to the idea. But it took an invitation by Nelson Mandela to get the ball rolling. Well, I did answer the clarion call in uh, 92 when Mandela called on all South Africans living abroad to come back home. I did come back home. The backlash, though, was quite interesting. I thought I was going to be received with open arms. In 1992, SABC gave the green light and Mabuza Shuttle premiered her first show, Top Level. Thank you also to our audience, our guests, and our crew from Cape Town. Thank you. And you at home. A first of its kind in South Africa with a live audience. And while things were changing, the idea of new post apartheid South Africa was still exactly that new. Felicia first appeared on our TV screens when massive political change happened in South Africa. It was the dawn of democracy, a time complex, a time desperate for conversations putting the spotlight on difficulties and topics only whispered about. And she took the challenge head on. The time is right today. The chain means revenge to anybody that comes in my way. Oh. You too. Me too. <laughs> what are you in your mountain? What's that in your mouth? It's black in the mouth there. You didn't brush your teeth. <laughs> you really and want them to play rugby, the girls? Yes. Yeah. 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 Because I, I have done. Yes. Okay, let's hear I mean, I don't see anything wrong well, with it. Would they be able to compete with the rugby? boys? Yeah. No, it's not about, it's not about. Oh, wait, what was that? <laughs> Hey, they look, at, they look bigger than mine. <laughs> oh, 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 let me tell you what this means. Let me tell you, let me tell you. The song says, my father has an affair with the lady next door. Are you really are doing that? And your children are seeing this? And they 
Next door. Let me hear you. Like, we need to talk about this. Do things. you have evidence? I've got no respect for a person who attempts to take his or her own life. But, uh, but it is that emotional and narrow stuff that is the result of what you're talking about. That is so important, really. When you're emotionally imbalanced, you cannot do a job. I don't care who says what. People don't understand. While South Africa was being excluded from global events, it was hard not to argue that she had a wider understanding of the world than her countrymen. And while many loved her, others ridiculed her for being too American and trying to copy Oprah Winfrey. So, allow me to prove you wrong. And the idea then was to interview Americans. Uh, that was the SABC's idea to interview Americans um, in, uh, from South Africa. And I said, that's not what our people want. They really don't care to hear what Americans are doing. We need to start the conversation here. So I turned it around and made it a show where we talk here about what is needed in South Africa. Let's make it the voice of the people. We had to start somewhere. And in her wake, many followed. Good afternoon and welcome to 3 Talk. I'm Nolene Maolona Sang. And welcome to Real Talk with me, Anelim Doda. I feel like the most lucky and blessed person on earth because they're always so interesting and it's just the stuff that we need to know. Do you think capitalist, wealthy, white families like the Ruperts should give, give away their land, give away their money? Yes. All right. As for Felicia, Top Level later changed its name to The Felicia Show. It was again renamed simply as Felicia in 2000, when she joined ETV. And when her fame was at its most royal, she was gifted another crown, Meme Queen. What's better than Brenda Farsi on cocaine? <laughs> what? Felicia on E. Hi. What? Talk to Felicia. Oprah's busy. If we admit that Felicia copied Oprah, we have to admit Oprah copied talk radio. Media is an ever-growing tapestry, and Felicia was knitting a jersey for Mama Africa. The beauty of talk show television is that it's rooted in deliberate uncertainty. It personalizes the political and politicizes the personal. It plays with boundaries and identities. And as much as it's in the populist arena, it is an instrument for commercial advertising. And around 1996, Felicia got snubbed. Despite Felicia occupying a fifth of the SABC's viewers, advertisers saw her show as a high risk, but criticism that stuck most was one that started as a compliment and in 2004 she moved back to America ironic perhaps but she never stopped doing what she promised she continued her show as conversations with Felicia broadcasted on the African channel where she mainly focuses on South African personalities Today, the idea of talk show still exists, both as infotainment and as a platform for serious issues. And while South Africa looks at Trevor Noah with a mother's envy, along with a chatter of late night hosts, its people remain undivided in search for something personal and therapeutic. A voice we can all listen and watch. So, thank you, Glam Mother Felicia Mabuza Sattle, for decades of amazing television. Siabonga.